Viral videos transforming simple button-down shirts into unique looks. Very cool. We wanted to see if these shirt hacks are worth trying. So putting them to the test is Monique Taylor Yee Shu. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see these hacks. They are all over TikTok. So Monique, your first hack is showing us how to tie a knot in our button-down. Right. Right? But you're going to do it in a way that maybe we're not used to. So how do we do exactly. this? Exactly. So you have your classic white shirt that you wear. You know, typically, you know, we'd probably be tempted to tie it just like so, right? But That's no. what I would do. What you do is you have your first three buttons, or depending on how long your shirt, you want the first few to be buttoned up. Yeah. And then all you got to do is just take the bottom corner uh -huh. and tuck and pull through, mm -hmm. just like so. Take the other and do the same thing. Just get your finger. Tuck and pull through, like so. Oh. And then you just do a little shuffle, shuffle that with your shirt. So you know, much more elegant. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. Very cute. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay, so and if you were to rate this out of ten yes. as a hack, what do you what, what, what would you give oh, it? Oh, I would rate this as a good nine. Yeah, because it's, it's easy. easy. Yeah, it's very simple. Yes. Very play, like, and you could dress up the outfit, throw a blazer over it. I think it's good. Totally. Yeah, and you yeah. sort, of, sort of, like, rework the look. I love yes, that. Yes, exactly. So the next hack is putting uh, a silk scarf over your button down. Yes. We're going to bring out our model, Chantelle, yes. to help us out with this hack. <laughs> Chantelle looks good already, right? but let's see how we do this okay, one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and elevate this look. So we have our classic button down once again. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop the collar, make sure you button it all the way up to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to Chantel, the most who is scarf. going to right. Yeah, and it's really good. Speaking of that, it's really good to get a nice scarf with a beautiful print on it, because yeah. then it could especially pop against that weight. And mm -hmm. so what I'll do is I'll help you tie. And so you take the scarf and you just tie your knot in the back, just like so. All right. We'll get you turned back around. And then this will act is almost like a halter. So you see, like, ah. it just has that beautiful fold, and then you turn back around. Very nice. And then what I'll do is I'll just tie another knot. It's good to get a large scarf as well. I know there's scarves that are different sizes, yeah. but the key to get this look, you need to get definitely a scarf on the bigger side. Yeah, we're not talking about a bandana here. It's right. going to go exactly. around your whole body. <laughs> yeah, that, one, that, that would, would be not be off. cute. And silk is nice as well because it flows and it falls nicely. Yeah. Okay, you're done there. You can go ahead and turn around. So let's take a walk down yes. memory lane, everyone. 2002, you're putting that on. There's right. no button down <laughs> underneath it. You've got your low-rise <laughs> jeans and you're headed to the club. Right. <laughs> And you're taking me back. I love yeah. it. But now we're elegant. We're ladies. So there's a button down exactly. underneath. Exactly. Yeah. You just Very button nice. it down. You could throw a blazer over it. And yeah. yeah. Folks, Beautiful. what do you think? Cute hat? Yeah. I love it. I love it. What would you rate this one? I rate time? this. I, I love this one. This is probably my favorite hack. I'll rate this as a 10 out of 10 because it's... Okay. It's and fairly, it's fairly easy, fairly easy to yeah. do on your own. And right? you can dress it up, put like a brooch in the middle. Like there's Ooh. so much you can do. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, Chantel's going to give us her second one. Yes. We're turning our button downs um, into yes, beautiful okay. blouses. Right. So this one, you, you might be a little bit more hard pressed to do all on your own. Right. Um, but right. you're going to show us sort of how to work this out. First of all, what kind of button down do you want to start with? So we want to start with one that's oversized. So yeah. we learned this when we were doing <laughs> This one as well, right? You can't go with your normal, whatever your normal size is. It's definitely to go up a size or two. Yeah. And you're going to see why here in a moment. Um, we're using just your classic cotton shirt. It's not too heavy. Yeah. Um, so I suggest you, you use one with a little bit of a fall to it. Got or it. you could use a satin one as well. So go okay. Ahead and give it to Good you. stuff. So you've got your oversized button yes. down and pay attention to how right. Chantel, because I thought she was making a mistake. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's you put it backwards. on. I know, this is not the crisscross situation, right? <laughs> so you go ahead, put it on backwards, then you twist it. And then you put your arm and through. And then you put your other arm through, right? Okay, so there's a little bit of work that is needed for this one as well. Mm -hmm. So you want to just get your shirt out. And then you button it. So this is where the partner work comes in. Right. Anyone wanna... in the house, one of right. your kids, <laughs> exactly. your partner, your neighbor, if you're close like that. Right. <laughs> you come meet me on the front porch, button me up from behind. Right. And then you go ahead, and I'll leave that first until we get it tucked in. So you can go ahead and turn back around. Oh, and then that's already Now pretty. you see? 
Yeah. You see that? Beautiful, right? And then you just go ahead and again, you play around in the mirror. It's a whole other shirt. Looks. And then you can go ahead and tuck it in. Uh, I do suggest using high-waisted yeah. pants with this look or yeah. a skirt. It could even work with that as well. Absolutely. Yeah, and it just gives that bold look to the okay, top. Okay, audience, what do we think of this yes, one? Yes, right? Nice hat. Yeah, and then if you turn around. Yeah. So, so once you far, turn this is get my it favorite. In, you can get it, yeah. That's this beautiful. Is, yeah. What do you rate this one? I know it's a little bit harder. You need I some know. partner work. I know. I probably would rate this as a solid eight just because yes. of the partner work aspect of it. Yeah. It's a little bit more labor intensive, but it's still a beautiful look. It is gorgeous. That is yeah. my favorite by far. Chantel, thank you so much. Beautiful yeah. modeling. Thank you for that. Yes. So nice. And we got one more. So yes. lastly, Mo, you're going to show us how to combine two shirts right. to make one cool new one. Exactly. Okay. okay. So I am the type, I'm very much guilty of, if I like something, I'm buying yeah. it in multiple colors. Well, that's just smart. <laughs> right. That's just smart. So what you want to do is you can get shirts, and the key to this as well is that when you get the shirts, you have to make sure that the buttons also line up. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take one shirt, okay. the other shirt, and button them together. That's just so like cool. this, right? So you button it. And then you turn it around like so. And then you go ahead and start buttoning. So I'm just going to button from the second button down. This is a whole new shirt as well. Yeah, this is a whole new. And so this is for those who are a little bit more adventurous with yeah. their fashion as well. And then, so you see, you know, how the back oh, is looking nice. right now. So Stay we're there not for done. a second. Stay there for a second. Yeah, I just want them to see that. So that's the two connected from the back. And then yes. turn around. Right. So then what we're going to do is okay. we're actually going to take our sleeves that are just here hanging out. Yeah. And we're going to use these as a belt. Oh, that's cool. Right? And then belt this over like so. It's a whole new look. And I love right? this because you're taking stuff you already have and you're just reworking it. Right, exactly. What, what would you rate this one, Mo? I will rate this as a nine. I love this and I love the color blocking aspect yeah. of it. I like the yeah. fact that you love your hacks so much. Yes. That's so <laughs> good. good. No, you should. You should. They're fantastic yeah. hacks and they're easy to do. Thank you so much. That was so no, much no fun. I love that you've tested them for us. Right.